friends, it's Bella. Welcome to Beauty on the Budget. And I thought today I would share with you my nighttime skincare routine. Now, I'm not, and you know I'm not at home, so I haven't got with me everything that I normally have. When I'm at home, I've got umpteen lotions and potions. So I will sort of value where my skin is. I'll think how it is that day assess it and I'll know what I need. Um, different oil or different sort of serum or what my, my skin's calling out for. But because I've got a limited amount with me, um, it's kind of a one thing does all. I'm, I'm trying to make the most of that at the moment. So these are the things that I'm doing at the moment while I'm in this lockdown. But at home I've got umpteen different things. now. I am using, so I've still got all my makeup on from today. At the moment, I'm using the Nivea eye makeup remover. So one way you shake it up, I've sent to suit to a drug for my cream one, my vitamin E cream one. I don't like these fluid ones. I know they're really popular, guys, but I just do not like these fluid ones. I just, they just don't suit me. So I put those two, when they're soaked, I put them on my eye and I leave them for a few minutes just so it soaks into the mascara. Although I don't wear waterproof mascara. I think it's, it just feels harsher on my, my skin, on my eyes. It does feel, really does feel harsher. So that's what I do at first. Just got to be careful not to pull too much around the eyes. With the cream, I don't have to, it kind of glides over and I don't have to do so much of that. So I'm not very happy with this, but you know, hey, how are so many people, it takes it off. I mean, it certainly takes it off, but it's just not my favourite thing. And then I start to get another two pads and I use some marcella water. And this is what I take the initial makeup off with. So I take just the top layer off with this. This one is uh, the simple one. And I just remove, you can see the top layer, most of my makeup there. So that takes off just that top layer before I actually really cleanse my face. But that saves when you're actually cleansing it, the makeup's not getting mixed up with the cleanser because, you know, the top layer of it has come off with this. You can go over your eyes with that as well, my cellar will just find your eyes. Okay, don't wear my hairline because I always put um some bronzer around there, some contour sh shaping. So, you see, <laughs> that's, that's the first stage. So I'm going to have a shower and I shall come back for the second stage. Okay guys, so I've had my shower, I just washed my face over with water in the shower. Now, I showed you a couple of weeks ago something I bought and I absolutely love them and will never be without them. These cloths, they are amazing, they're specially made face wash cloths. I don't put them in the washing machine, I wash them by hand every night when I've used them. They are the best and gentlest thing and they remove so much makeup. I can't believe it. it's just material. I mean, when I saw them, you know, and our other lovely ladies, I thought, no, I, I can't believe that. I can't believe the material does that. But it does. It's amazing. They are amazing. So, the next thing I will do is I put, um, I'm standing by the little basin. 
And to get the cloth, and I just wipe my face over, but don't need it. And then I I showed you the iconic iconic the sorry guys that's a shower um, pump um con cognac sponge yes <laughs> yesterday so we soak it up and then it becomes really soft. I am using a vitamin C face wash at the moment, which I like a lot, and I'm putting that onto the sponge. Like this. Sorry about that noise, guys. It's um, it's a wet room. You know, this is like a wet room, so it works slightly different than my bathroom does. It's you just walk into the shower, so um, and then that's look at that nice and squidgy, and then I just work this around my face. It feels so nice and it's not scratchy. I just do it in circular motions. I don't do underneath my eyes. I do it sort of between my eyes there, but I don't go underneath my eyes with anything too harsh. And up and down the neck. That's that. Uh, I really like the feeling of it. It's like a massage on your face. I really like it. So that's it. I put that in the water. Then I get my pink wonder cloth. That's what I call it. It's not the name of it. I don't know the name of them. But you can get them in lots of sites. If you Google, you know, the face mask, the um, microfiber face cloth, they'll come up. And then I just rinse that off until all that soap is rinsed off. I do so love this. I judge my skin and I've got quite good at judging my skin now so there's there's certain things I mean certain nights I mean some nights I may need mineral oil or some nights I may need more rosehip oil my skin will go a certain way and jojoba oil and you know different things but I've just got the very basics with me but hey ho we're going to manage I just take my dry uh, face dry with the clean flannel like that so that my face is completely dry then I will put on a face mask this is not every night guys um, I probably use a face mask once a week maybe twice a week um, so I'm going to do that this is my favourite by far it's the Garnier one and it's the moisture bomb I love this face mask. It's got so much moisture in it. It's absolutely sopping. So I open it over the top of the sink because it literally is dripping. Let's open that up. It's a good quality as well, the Garnier one. You know, it doesn't sort of, sometimes they're thin, aren't they? they all fall apart, no point. So that's that one. And then I put to all my face put that bit there and then that the splits here so it goes all properly on you can juggle it about a bit really put it down by your nose and then I just rub it to my face like this so it's all dear to my face Make sure it goes into that bit there because that's the bit that sort of pours me doing as well. It pleats up at the side, but it's meant to. That's it. And then we are going to leave that on. I need it on for about half an hour. And I will be back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've had this on about 20 minutes. I'll just pull that off. 
Oh, that feels lovely. It's so lovely. I just rub it in. So, oh, it's so lovely and soft. And then I normally just leave that to dry. Okay, so that takes just about two minutes. It's all soaked in. Now, these are the things I use at the night time when I'm here. And um, the things I really don't like to go without. So my caffeine, my caffeine I use twice a day. This is the ordinary one. A little bit of that and I put that under my eye. Just under see where my eye bags are. A lot better than they were. Still there, but a lot better than they were. And that one. Uh, anything from the back of your hands. Anything I've got, always the back of your hands. Okay, so when that's in, the next thing I use is squalene. And I use a good few drops of that. I love squalene. And then put that into my face. Right down. Don't forget, I've said to you lots of times. Face comes up to here. <laughs> so I don't mean I've told you. I don't, I'm no specialist, you know. I advise you. <laughs> what I do. I never like to think, you know, this is the way to do it because I'm not, I'm not a specialist. And just pat that in and then I leave that about five, ten minutes just till that's dry, given the chance to really soak in and then I'll do the next bit. Okay, so the next thing I do is now, do you remember a, week, um, a couple of weeks ago I bought the lift set? I really like it. I really, really like it. So this is the eye cream. Put a little bit on my finger. It's about that much. That between my fingers. And then I tap that under my, oh, a bit more on that one. Tap that under my eyes. And you can feel this tightening. It's, it's really lovely, this is. I put that on my lids as well, right over here. And tap it underneath. The next thing I do is get a little bit of the serum. That's the lift serum. And that. So that's, um, it's not a oily serum like the, um, the squalene, but you can see it's running, you can see it's a serum. So about that much, and then I tap that as well, and down my chin, onto my neck, and this has got all sorts of stuff in it, guys. It's lovely, it really is nice. And it doesn't take long either. It doesn't take long to absorb into your skin. A bit of a massage. So. So I'll just leave those two things, just a couple of minutes. Okay, so that really does only take a couple of minutes to sink in. Then the last thing is the night cream. All part of this boots lift. Take some of that, guys, and I just dot that around my face, nose, around my neck, and on my decollete. And just massage that in. Upwards, always upwards, guys. One decollete there, and up. 
feels lovely on your face too, this one. That's it. That's it, guys. That's my night routine. In the morning, I only clean my face with micellar water. I don't use any more cleansers or anything like that. I just use micellar water to clean my face in the morning. So that's my nighttime routine. I'm going to do something with my hair now. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to think him. I'll do a quiz. Shall we do a quiz now? I'm going to answer the questions and I'm going to centre the quiz around kind of a, a, the baby boomerang, this kind of ages that we, we, I am and most of my lovely ladies are. Um, so questions, all different subjects and I put the answers below but you've got to promise me you don't cheat, okay? So we... <laughs> When we do the quiz, you've got to maybe write the answers down or think of what the answers are and you can put them in the comment section, but don't look at the answers till you've done your comment because it's cheating and nobody, I don't want no cheaters, okay? So I think we'll do that tomorrow. You take care now. God bless. <laughs>